In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make absolutely any book cover in the world in a few seconds. Hello, my name is Ben McQueenie, and if you haven't been to this channel before, I make videos to help self-publishers like you. And in this video today, I am going to be showing you how to make a book cover very easily. And what I thought I'd do is have some fun with it. By taking a fantastic book and reimagining the book cover, which book are we going to do? Of course, it's my own book. Now, before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go and do that. This video is going to be perfect for any self-publisher who does fiction, non-fiction, low content, medium content. It's for everybody. This video is for all self-publishers. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is actually my book and it was called The Spirit of Things. Now, uh, it came out in 2020, which was about five years ago, and it did okay. 4.1 stars. Painful. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm probably not the best writer in the world. But when I started my journey, I wanted to write a fantasy novel. The Spirit of Things. Okay, so we can see here, let's have a look at this book cover. So the Spirit of Things, as we can see, uh, one of my friends actually designed this for me. So we've got the main character here who is holding this contraption, which is a kind of, um, it's like a bat, like a baton, where he's going to batten a ball away, okay? Uh, and in my world, they're called pikes, okay? And this is his horse. So in this kind of um, fantasy world, they play this game on um, on a horse, okay? Now, if you were a troll, you would play the game on a hydra which is a three-headed lizard if you are if you are a fairy you would play um the game on a rabbit <laughs> anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to take this cover yeah and we are going to feed it into chat gpt and see if it can come up with something a bit different so let's just save that image to begin with now if we go over to chat gpt and we are going to upload that particular image. So I have uploaded that image for ChatGPT to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a prompt and see what it can do. Right. So please redesign. Please redesign my book cover attached. And give it a cool new look it is a fantasy book it should have the main character riding a horse and holding a long implement that he plays sports with also there must be three moons in the background. Let's give that a go and see what it comes up with. And this is what it's come up with. Have you seen this? This is like, what? What? What is life? What is going on here? See, I'm actually fairly impressed with that. The, the only thing is that there's four moons it, it had one task and it's put four moons in there but there's there's actually only three now those three would have been cool right but it's put an extra one in here why why everything else is perfect pretty much so i'm on the kdp book cover calculator we are going to uh, do a paperback the interior type is going to be uh, black and white the paper type is going to be white Reading direction is left to right, and the measurements are inches. Now, if we just go back to uh, my book, let's have a look at what size it is. Because, you know what? I can't even remember that one. Right, and it was 312 pages. So what we can do is download the template, which I'm going to do right now. So this is what the template looks like. And you can see you're going to have the book cover there, okay? Then the spine, and then whatever we're going to have on the back. So the thing that we're interested in is this overall dimensions, because when we are going to build the book cover, and we're going to do that in Canva, 
um, we need this overall dimensions. So 10 by 953 by 8.250. So I'm over at Canva, I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to custom size. And I'm going to make sure that's in inches. And because I am stupid, I'm going to um, not remember, but it's 10.953, 10.953, 10.953, and it's by 8.250, 8.25, oops, 8.250, create new design, and a new design will just pop up, just like that. Now we need to add the KDP cover template on our place where we are working. Right, so I've uploaded that template and I am just going to make it so it fits the template fine. So it just kind of locks in place like that. Now that's what we're working with. But, and I'm going to paste in the cover. So now I've pasted in that cover and we need to cover the red lines up to that little perforated line about there, okay? So let's just zoom back out again and bring that down to around there, I would say. About there. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that this uh, author name isn't going to get cut off by the red line. So what, we're going to, what we can do is if we just make this transparent a second, see that's going to get cut off. Can you see? It's too close to the red lines. We want it to be about there, really. And actually, probably more there. So the Q on McQueenie doesn't get cut off. But now we can see that the the is going off. So what we need to do is just make it so that it fits. <laughs> Let's just make it fit. Right. So I'm kind of happy with the positioning there. About there, right. So let's just bring the transparency back up. Now we need to get rid of this moon, don't we? Oh, we could get rid of that moon. I think, I, I, let's get rid of this moon, right? So we need to go to edit. And if we go to uh, magic eraser, we are going to erase, or I'm hopefully going to erase this moon out of existence. Oh, like that. We're going to press erase. And Canva is going to use its magic fairies to remove this moon out of my life oh it's done it already perfect so that is that done now next thing we need to do is we need to cover this whole page don't we guys right so what we're going to do is we're already selected this particular image let's go to edit again and this time we're going to use magic magic expand we're going to make sure we're selected on free form yeah and then we're going to cover the whole thing like this see that make it a little bit bigger than the actual uh, document i think and then we're going to press expand and then that's going to give us some options to to particularly pick for this book Now that's cool, isn't it? That is cool. Now if we just click, oh, is that an eagle? <laughs> Actually, what is that? Nobody knows what that is. So we're going to not have that one. Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have that one. But again, that thing flying up there. Yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to do that. We are going to use potentially this one. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That is cool. But if you if you didn't like it like this thing, why is there a random hole there? Who knows why there's a random hole there? But what you can do, if you wanted to, you could generate new results. Yeah. But we're just going to leave it as it is for now. So done. So the last thing that you would need to do is do a spine design. So the way you do that is just by going back over to ChatGPT and asking it to do the title and the author name in a kind of... Um, vertical placement, which you would then just 
paste on there. You just download it as a transparent uh, PNG. Okay, so I hope you have found this video interesting. Um, if you have, please give this video a like and please subscribe to the channel because I really appreciate it. And until next time, bye.